Hello everyone. Today we are back with one more futuristic uh, project information related to Karnataka. Before starting today's video, let me give you guys a heads up. Obviously, this high speed rail project will take time as the national railway plan itself talks about finishing this project by 2051. So even if you take the best scenario, they may start this project by 2045 itself. Now we look into Chennai Mysore High Speed Trail Project aka CBM Bullet Train Project, which spans over 463 km length, which connects Chennai, Bangalore and Mysore through 11 stations, which falls in Tamil Nadu, Andhra and Karnataka. The project cost of this is yet to be finalized. This is the sixth new high speed rail corridors planned by Government of India in 2019, for which Basic Tendering Activity commenced in December 2020 to prepare a detailed project report towards starting the construction work. This high speed rail line will have a right of way of 12.5 meters to 22.5 meters as required those are like uh, if it is just track it, it can span from 12.5 meter to 20 something whereas 22.5 meters are required for station works so the land acquisition of total 1162 hectares in 313 villages will be required for the construction the project will be constructed in two phases in phase 1, 306 km of route will connect Chennai to Bangalore, that especially till Oskote, while in phase 2, the line will be extended by 157 km from Bangalore to Mysore. The line will consist of a 30 km tunnel network with 2.5 km in Chennai, 11.8 km in Chitor, and 2 km out outside the Bangalore that is Bangalore rural and 14 kilometers within Bangalore city that will be between the Whitefield and Bayapanadi. The key figures when we look into the high speed rail corridors the maximum speed that is design speed will be 350 kmph while the operational spe speed will be 320 kmph the average speed with acceleration and deceleration all those things taking into consideration that average speed will come around 250 kmph if i come into chennai mysore high speed rail route information which is of length 463 kilometers it will have stations like chennai punamalle chittor kolar kodahalli which is i feel kodiali Whitefield, Bayapanahalli, Electronic City, Kingeri, Mandia, and Mysore. I feel this is the indicated or proposed uh, stations in the initial plan, but there is increase in number of stations. We'll go through that, but we don't have information for Chennai uh, till the Kodi Halli. But from Kodi Halli, we have more information where we go through the route map of it and also the stations, which are all the stations that are planned. Let's dive into the map. We have accessed two route maps for Kodi Halli to Mysore Bullet Time project. I'm giving you the caveat here these route maps are subject to changes in future so this is not final yet so there are further changes so we'll dive into the two route maps that we have accessed so far one is in green line and the other one is in pink line you can see it so we'll first go through the Kodi Ali to Bayapanali route so we can see here the phase 2 project starts from Kodihali or near to Malur interchange. <clears throat> I 
and it will intersect near to Oskoti interchange of STRR between STRR and Bangalore Chennai Expressway. This is the point where the Kodiali station will come up and from Kodiali station I anticipate it to be the tunnel tunnel route. So from here the tunnel route starts from Whitefield, not from here actually. From Kodi Ali station to Bayapanali it is almost 21 kilometers but out of 21 kilometers that is spur line that will be connect, uh, connected to the Bangalore city uh, inner city uh, so out of these only 14 kilometer stretch I feel that is from Whitefield to Bayapanali it will be completely tunnel project so it will be underground but where there is less rehabilitation required for the project where there is very less build up area so that's where they are going elevated okay from Kodiali now let's move towards electronic city so we are now this right side will go towards Bangalore city which will act as a spur line from the actual route so that it can connect to the Bangalore and if it takes the left turn so as I already said we have two alignments we are not sure which alignment is final head so I cannot speculate which is final so it will pass through Whitefield or Varthuri area Samitana Ali and Mutsandra Road and Chikkanekundi and it crossovers the Gunjuru Road which is State Highway and then Sarjapura Road and the alignment of this is almost similar to the peripheral ring road peripheral ring road as well it will pass through the same alignment uh, in this area that is electronic city and Sarjapura road so this is how it passes through so I feel this will be the elevated structure not the underground and this is where the electronic city railway station or HSR railway station is planned which is near to the nice electronic city toll and here as well the two alignments one alignment will go just beside the nice road itself as uh, the there is no rehabilitation that they have to do and it is completely uh, the vacant land so they can easily acquire so that's why they have made two alignments one it passes like this and one more will pass just next to the nice road itself as it nears to the Kanakpura road exit near to Silk Road, Silk Institute so this is where the second railway station is planned so this is not mentioned here it is mentioned as Kengiri station but uh, one is Kengiri station uh, and the one is electronic city station is, uh, wa is what year it is mentioned so we are not sure which uh, name they will give so I feel uh, as it is near to the Silk Institute so something like uh, Kanakpura exit or uh, uh, Turhali forest exit Hutrali something like that they can mention it so from here it won't follow the nice road so it will take left turn and it won't even touch uh, towards the Mysore highway itself so it will distance itself from Mysore highway and it pass through the 
and rehabilitated area and there is no station planned for kengeri here in this area so the whatever kanakpura nice exit hills itself can be called as kengeri station and whatever 1.4 km tunnel road a uh, tunnel uh, um, section of uh, uh, high speed rail project which is planned as part uh, as part of uh, this project i feel that will come near somewhere near this area itself as this is all uh, elite terrain so this is where you can see here. you can see the section which is mentioned like this i feel this is the tunnel structure as it is elite terrain so i feel here as well here as well and here as well so these are the three tunnel structure that will come up as part of this high speed rail corridor and it will proceed further achalu and after achalu beta we, we know all these achalu beta and all these uh, ili terrains or uh, good um, tourist attraction spots and we see lot of ili terrains for this project as well Uh, the ili terrain will come into picture and that's why they have to come up with tunnel structure here so once this tunnel structure is done it's all flat terrain so it will continue in the elevated structure itself and next comes the ramnagara hsr station ramnagara hsr station will not have any uh, contact with either state highway or uh, not even uh, national highway so i feel uh, they have to come up with some national highway connectivity uh, or state highway connectivity otherwise having station uh, remotely that too for this hsr station uh, high speed rail corridor will not serve any purpose so i feel uh, uh, either national highway or state highway will take over it and once this ramnagar station is done next station is mandya so bangidodi and kukkur this is where uh, the mandya station is planned so mandya station is connected by straight highway but given that mysuru ring road was recently requested by uh, union minister sri hd kumar swami i feel uh, somewhere this uh, ring road should be connected to this high speed rail corridor otherwise even this will further cause Uh, due to urbanization obviously the uh, traffic will take over so i feel national we should connect to this ramna uh, sorry mandya high speed rail station so once the mandya high speed rail station is done it's mysore only so mysore hsr a uh, corridor as well will terminate at uh, manipal hospital similar to the express way and 57.2 km is the actual 157.529 km is the actual length so this is where it will terminate and it will have station over a lake so here obviously they will come up with some connectivity so we can have not have any 
next level we are set away separately so they will uh, in a srcl itself will come up with connectivity if it is very near to ibex so the depot line the maintenance depot line will be planned here itself so for that 3 km line will be laid and will be connected with light maintenance depot near to the car museum just behind this car museum so that's it guys that's it from this video hope you like the content that we are sharing thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video